this. I'm just going to come to a stop here at the water. In the water? Yeah, just stop first. Nice. Yeah. Just check that. That's fine. So, let's go forward with this. I know how deep the water is near, so I'll put it into first gear actually because it is um, there's a lot of articulations. Okay. Okay, but if you are driving through water, I know how deep it is near, it's not that deep. If you are going to drive through water, you'd definitely be in second gear. Okay. Why is so, that? The reason we're going to second gear is so we've got the momentum through. Mm -hmm. You went through in first gear, the chances are you're going to create so much wheel spin. And, then, okay. and if, you if you pick up any loose gravel, all you're going to be doing is spinning out and potentially you're going to be stuck in the water. Okay, okay. let's go forward. So you can see in this other speed, just change the, the, the dynamics of the vehicle straight yeah. away. Yeah. So try and push pull the steering. Okay, a bit like old school, the energy driving test. Go left, left. All the trees in here are all British standard trees. <laughs> They're the immovable objects. Okay, and as we enter the exit of the water course, I want you to go right. stop here so it's brake first and then clutch thank you okay so we're getting off down to the right hand side so if this was your only way through okay uh, you can see the base of the river this is a natural spring that feeds this water course um, we can actually see the base of the river so we're going to drive forward okay uh, we're going to have a plan a b c and d okay so we're going to go forward and if the, the ground starts to be feel a bit loose we're going to at least we know we can get back out okay so that's our option so let's go forward and we'll have a close look. So leave it in first gear. So everything seems okay. The base, the base seems quite solid. We're not losing any traction in any of the wheels. So we think we're okay to move it forward. So we know at this point we can get back out, so it's not an issue. As we start to come round though, the sort of topography and the scenery starts to change from most of the Okay, so we'll come to a stop here. So at this point you're probably thinking, okay, what are we going to do from here? Mm -hmm. uh, at this sort of stage, if this was your own, definitely your only way through, you'd be definitely out there checking the depth of the water. Okay, you could end up being sort of like dropping down quite a few big holes, or you could even be driving over another vehicle. You, don't know, <laughs> you just don't know how sure. deep it is out there. Okay, so I'll guide you through. It's fairly straightforward, you'll see as we start to make our way through. So we're going to go through in second gear. So you notice we're in low range, mm -hmm. okay. The way we actually can drive through this water as well, <coughs> we're going to have to create something called a bow wave. Okay, so for example, uh, imagine that's the front of the Defender. It's quite a boxy vehicle. The air intake of this vehicle is on the right hand side. Okay. Weighting capability for this vehicle is 500 millimetre, so it's just above the airline. So driving through with this technique, you have to create this bow wave in front of the vehicle, uh, about a metre, a metre and a half in front of the vehicle, and your technique is to balance, you balance your throttle with that as you move forward, and that will create a nice depression either side of the vehicle, and that will keep the water away from the air intake. Okay. Uh, if the water starts to engulf the bonnet, you're either driving too fast or you haven't done a risk assessment, <laughs> if the water goes into the air intake, you've, just, pretty much it. you've just bought yourself a Defender. Okay? <laughs> You know that paperwork you signed. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't read the small print. Not you? so much, no. Okay. Uh, all right. Good so second gear, let's make progress. All right, so second gear. All right. Right. So on the 
spot on there, just make a bit of more progress. Keep it on. So we have got an overhanging branch just up here, so consider your roof. Okay. Yeah. Go over to the right slightly. And come round to the left. Left, 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 left. Straight on now, straight on. Steer right, go right. That's it, and forward. Okay. As we start to exit, we're going to make our way up to the left. Okay. Okay. On the brake a little bit, just to control it on the brake. And left, left here. Up to our traffic tank. Okay. We'll get onto this little straight area here and we'll come to a stop. Okay, so stop here. That. That's really cool. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. You can see how uh, when people drive through water, uh, if you ever did come across water in 